History is a journey, one that carries us backwards in time, illuminates our present, and enlightens our future. History is a story about you, about us, about the connections that hold us together. History is a constant, never-ending, ever-expanding, moment by moment. You are making history right now. At the Buffalo History Museum, we invite you to join us on this journey. We stand as the safe keepers of your stories and collectors of tomorrow's chronicles. The Buffalo History Museum. Experiencing history with you. Our mission is experiencing history with you. Uh, we believe that we share stories, we don't tell them. So we're really hoping that people bring their own experiences to their experience that they have with us. We're trying to make people more mindful of how history is all around us and really our lives are much richer when we're noticing it and we're, we're practicing it. We used to say the collection was our biggest asset. There's been a shift to thinking about, it's really the social engagement that happens around those things. Watching a person find something unexpected or understanding, like wow, that makes sense to me why, why things are like they are now. That, that lighting up and making those connections and you can see it. Obviously I'm passionate about history, but I see it and it's like a reignition every time I see it. The history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. By looking at the past, you definitely get a better perspective of where we are in the future or where we could be heading. A big part of our mission is making sure that the story of Western New York, Erie County, is told to represent all the different people who make it up. Everybody's brought up with their own experiences, their own history, and you're not necessarily exposed to those people living even in close proximity to you. So by seeing so many of these different stories represented, you glean uh, a bit of the experiences of others. And you can't really put yourselves in their, uh, in their shoes, but you're able to better understand their backgrounds to give you a better understanding of you know, how the community is very diverse, yet we do you know, come together. Well, here in the library, we take care of everything two-dimensional, and that usually means things on paper. So obviously it's gonna mean books, and atlases, it also means maps, plans, drawings, photographs, postcards, scrapbooks, letters, diaries, journals, ledgers, newspaper clippings, product catalogs, cookbooks and menus, sheet music, I'm sure I'm leaving something out. We do have really great moments of discovery here. I was working on a project while I was at the museum, uh, a newsletter and I was looking through and looking for photos of uh, Buffalo's higher education institutions and I was looking through the UB folder and I was like wait a minute the smile looks really familiar and the funny thing was is that even though I had seen photos of my grandfather growing up it stuck out to me because it's the same exact smile my mom has but I was like that is definitely my grandfather and I showed my mom and I was like this is like Grandpa Ketter isn't it mom's like yeah, that's your grandfather. It's really great when someone is working on family history and they go, oh, and you can just hear them just like they've found the thing they're looking for. And they, you know, it made me feel that much more connected to someone in my family that, you know, I never got a chance to meet. It, it resonated with me that this was a special place, that this was a place to have special connections that you wouldn't even think of having. We are committed to diversity. We value diversity. We understand that it is essential. I often think of children first. Very, very important for children to see themselves represented in the history, to understand that their ancestors, their forebears, also contributed to making this community what it is. To see that gives them a picture of what they themselves can do, and also as to who they are. The museum is making a deliberate effort to make sure that you're inclusive, in order for people coming here to feel welcome, to feel that they see themselves reflected. What our collections emphasize is that this place matters, that Buffalo matters, the people who have been here matter, the people who have struggled for any number of reasons matter. These are things that put Western New York on the map, that gave people a reason to come here, to settle down and have families here. They ground our past in authenticity. It's almost like the people, our ancestors, through these objects are saying, I was here, here's what I did, and now what are you gonna do? 
We don't have all the answers. We don't even have all of the story, but we have these really wonderful, rich resources to work with and hopefully can pull uh, some of what characterizes this place and makes our place, Buffalo, so distinctive by sharing in it. History is a voice calling from the past, resonating today, inspiring us all to move onward with new understanding and new purpose, honoring what has been and bringing us together for what's ahead. The Buffalo History Museum, experiencing history with you.